Shining a bright red as always is I Red Lust. Welcome back to Encryption, and I don't know if I'm supposed to select new game again or hit continue. I'm going to assume continue. Otherwise, I'm going to end up back in the cabin and need to go back again, or... Or is this going to actually put me back where I was? I have no idea. Because... Well... You know, the whole thing about starting the game, it's like, oh, continue, you can't pick new game. Oh. oh. Okay, so we are back where we are. So, uh... Yeah, I can definitely see why a lot of people... And I saw this mostly in the forums. I, I only gave it a glance. I didn't want to get spoilers, but... I could definitely see why a lot of people weren't happy with Act 2. It's definitely different. And I don't know whether it says different better or just different. Uh, brr. Did someone leave the AC on? Uh... You got something stuck in your head, good sir, or ma'am. I don't know, I don't judge. Oh, come on, dude. It's freezing in here. Uh, maybe it may pertain to the shard of ice lar lodged in your large skull. Maybe a heated battle will help. Okay, I see how it is. But I could definitely say the art style is... It's different. Let's see, can't be sacrificed when the dog perishes, the creature decides to release its place. Banshee is striking upon it directly if there's a creature opposing it. I think I'll skip my turn in order to be able to attack the next one. All right, we'll put that skeleton there. Have him get rid of the Banshee. All right, he's gonna die. So now we're gonna have this guy summon here. The skeleton will attack it. It will unleash a Draugr. All right, let's, let's see what's inside. Oh, it's... It's just a skeleton. I'm not sure what I expected. I was- I guess I was just hoping for something better. But, I- skeleton works too, I guess. We'll just hold out until... I guess until we get enough bones to summon our actual creatures. We could summon a Grave Digger, but I think, you know what, I will summon a Grave Digger, and I'll put it here where it can't be attacked. Alright, so we eke out our health, we got Bone, Draugr's Release. I can also see that Act 2's, like... I was saying it earlier, I think, I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention. I am kind of tired, so my brain is not working too well. I can definitely see the art style not being as appreciative, or people can't appreciate the new art style as much, and it's completely understandable. It is way different than what the game started with. Uh, Gameplay-wise, it's still kind of the same. Ah, crud. Crud, I'm gonna have to... I'm probably gonna lose that zombie to the skeleton that's gonna attack, but that's fine. Uh... We'll put down another Gravekeeper, get some more bones. And I think I'll skip this turn just so that I can get more bone. Alright, so we're going to summon a skeleton. 
and uh, we're just gonna summon a skeleton, have him attack directly, and then we'll summon the zombie and Frankenstein to do maximum damage. Alrighty, now we'll just summon uh, Frankenstein, zombie, and we'll get a bunch of overkill. Well, I say a bunch, it was only two, but that's still pretty good. You won! But now I'm a bit less cold. Take a pack on the house. Cool, a deathly card pack. Let's see, we got our Frankenstein, a uh, Tomb Raider, pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. Ooh, that's not bad. Revenant, after attacking, Revenant perishes. So that's just a super skeleton. Energy Bot, when Energy Bot is played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. Uh, don't know what that's about. Mox cards on the owner's side gain one power. Uh... You did beat me, so I guess I gotta fess up. The name's K Casey. Casey Hobbs. I'm from the tombstone on the left. You found a piece of epitaph. Now I can go through you. Oh! The defibrillator failed. Well, that's sad to hear. What's down here? Piece of an epitaph. Brought down by scurvy. A gust of foul-smelling air billows from the casket. Hi! I like your eyes. They're my color. You have no offering? I'm sorry, I did not mean to disturb. I didn't know I had to bring a present. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry for bothering you, Mr. Uh, Beelzebub, I guess. Well, no, Beelzebub is more of a fly. I guess that'd be more like Satan. Uh, oh wait, I should, uh, adjust my deck. So I guess I'll just add all of, uh, these. I mean, I don't seem to have a deck limit. At least I haven't noticed one. I mean, yeah, it does... I don't seem to have a deck limit, just a deck minimum. Hark! A living slice of lemon approaches. Bright and trig as a lime. You think ye will squeeze a defeat out of me? Uh. Sorry, Captain. Let's see. Waterborne. Also, the end of the owner's turn. Ghost ship will move in direction. And drop a skeleton in its old place. So that ship is going to be annoying. And then he's going to also draw a skeleton. I do think I will... Okay, I guess I won't. Also, what does this hammer do? Can I use the hammer to destroy one of my own cards in my turn? I'm gonna try that. I can! Oh, okay, so that's how I can get bones on my turn. It's basically like sacrificing, but not sacrificing to summon anything. I'm literally just breaking them. Alright, so I got one bone, which doesn't really allow me to do anything just yet, so I'm gonna have to pass my turn. Luckily, I'm gonna do one damage, he's gonna do one damage. No, technically two, that's fine. Uh, 
Uh, what does the hand do again? When dead hands play, discard your hand and draw a hand of four new cards. Uh, I'd lose all my creatures, though. And I don't really want to do that just yet. But I will summon the zombie to attack that skeleton so I won't take damage. I need to start getting more bone, but I need to, I need to draw a, a grave keep. Uh, was it a grave robber or a grave keeper? I need the guy who gets me bones. And there goes my zombie. Well, but at least I got a skeleton, which allows me to kill their skeleton so I don't take as much damage. However, I do think this is going to be a losing battle, because I can't really summon anything. Alright, I got another skeleton. Which doesn't really help me too much. Alright, I'll summon the skeleton this turn, have him attack, and then he'll die, which will give me enough bones to summon a revenant instead. And I'll be able to get back some of my health by doing some damage. Oh, but I got Gravekeeper. And I can also use him to block that skeleton. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. Alright, now I got three bones, and I can summon a zombie, and finally get some consistent damage on the board. Or I can summon a revenant and do a lot of damage in one turn. I'll summon the zombie, because he can take care of the skeleton. And my Gravedigger is going to block that skeleton so I don't take any damage, and then I'm going to do damage with the zombie. I'll summon our Gravedigger here to block the next skeleton that spawns, and I'll get more bones. I, I got I to gotta say, I'm not a big fan of this ghost ship thing. It's kind of annoying, but at this rate, I'll have so many bones that he won't be able to stop me from just destroying him in one turn. Plus, my uh, zombie is getting me some extra damage. Uh, I guess I'll just skip this turn. Alright, now we finally got a ton of bones, we can actually pretty much do whatever we want. Oh. Man, I, I wasn't paying attention to overkill. I... you beat the pulp out of me. Firstly, take ye this. Let's see, we got our Revenant, a Bone Heap, Skeleton, Mage Knight, and a Grizzly. So we can still get old cards. And because he bested me, with ye, I'll share me secret. Me name's Royal. Eyes the far right tomb. Here's the head of the piece. 
Found a piece of the epitaph. Uh, thank you. I'm going to go grave robbing now. Hit by a falling piece of ice. Oh, I found a card pack. That's cool. Uh, Mummy Lord. Okay, so that's a powerful 3-3, three, three, but it costs 8 bones. Necromancer. When another creature you own dies, is returned to life and dies again immediately. Interesting. I can see that definitely making skeletons more powerful. Revenant. Gamblobot? Activate. Pay one energy to set the power of Gamblot randomly between one and six. Huh. Okay. So what's back here? Piece of an epitaph. There was no cure. Hey, wait a second. Huh? What? 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 What the? I've lost track which was the original me. This is definitely not me. You're not me. How do I go back? How do I go back? No, I don't want to be any of these. I want to go back. Why are there so many? I, I don't even know what my original one was anymore. It's none of these. Oh, I guess I'll stay the robot. Why not? I hope it's not, it's just cosmetic. Oh, I found our card pack. Ooh, bone hound. So it's just like the bloodhound, but it's just bone. And uh, oh, I got field mice. That was a good card, but I don't have a flesh and blood to really use, so. I guess I should keep those cards out of my deck for now. Speaking of which... Alright, let's get rid of the... Or is it? Dead Hand. I, I don't really like Dead Hand. Uh, Necromancer sounds interesting. The Bone Heap sounds good. Uh... I guess I could always use another Revenant. But I think I shouldn't overload my deck with too many things. In fact, I think I'll get rid of... I think I'll get rid of one of the Frankenstein cards. And I think that's good. But I, I guess I gotta put these together. Oh, I actually gotta, I actually gotta figure it out. Uh, like I said, my name's Royal Far Right Tomb. Yar, life didn't give me lemons, so I died. Oh, you died of scurvy. Alright, so your name was Royal. You were brought down by scurvy. And, uh... Well, it can't be the first one. There was no cure. There was no cure? Is that it? Did I do it right? I guess I'll have to find out when they're all done. You were... What was your name? Casey. Casey Hobbs. Okay. So, Casey Hobbs... You were Casey Hobbs. You were killed by a falling piece of ice. And I guess you don't hold a grudge. And this is the last one, which is just the rest of them. Uh, Sawyer. Eaten by a hungry dog. Uh, 
Oh, wait, I guess, uh... I guess the defibrillator one would be someone else. Yeah, I don't... I don't think it would be this guy, because... Why would he hold a grudge against a dog? Hey, Marvelous! I believe you have proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Marvelous. Just marvelous. I was beginning to worry I would be sealed away behind those tombstones forever. Locked down at the mercy of a challenger's wits. Until one day discovered... I see that your ambition is to become the scribe of the dead. I think you're aware that I currently hold that title. But it matters not, because you shall not win. I'm God! My minions never truly die, you know. Let's see how you fare. Already starting with a bone hound, which is a bit scary, but we can work around it. Uh, I... I don't have any bones, so I can't really use a tomb robber. Actually, I don't have any bone at all. This is a bit of a problem. Uh... I guess I'll have to sacrifice the robber, cause... Wait, what's that mean? Times two? Am I gonna take double damage? Cause if so, that changes this. But, otherwise I'm gonna skip the turn? Okay, so that does not mean double damage. Okay, good. I was a little scared there. Uh, Sarcophagus. Sarcophagus will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. Banshee is a flying creature. Also, I did not get a skeleton. Which kinda sucks. You just played a card with an activated ability. Marvelous. Allow me to explain how it works. Activate it by pressing the sigil like it's a button. But it will only work if you can pay the cost. Well, I can't. In fact, I'm literally just using this guy for bone. But I can summon a skeleton to take care of that banshee. And I can summon a grave digger to block the hound. Marvelous. An opportunity to use my quill. Rest in peace, Banshee. Turned uh didn't get to read that. This one will be back. I don't like the sound of that. You wish to become the scribe of the dead, and that is your best deck? I have nothing to worry about. Oh. So, we just restart. Okay, I guess I'll adjust my deck a bit then. I mostly just got really screwed over by having a really bad starting hand. So I guess I'll get rid of some of the... More expensive cards, see if that works. Add like a few more skeletons. Or just one more skeleton. Alright, let's try that again. Another attempt? Very well, I'm still buzzing from the last one. On guard. Minions prepare for death! But then, 
What if again? It's a little funny down here. You die, you come back. It's just cycle. It's a vicious cycle in which you cannot escape from. Alright, at least I blocked the Banshee. Well, actually, I think I want to block the Sarcophagus more. So I'm gonna play a Gravedigger. Then I'm gonna play a Skeleton over here. Alright, so now my Gravedigger's fine, and the Skeleton will... The Skeleton will at least hurt the Bonehound. Uh oh! My undying creatures can be difficult to overcome. Perhaps you'll need to open more packs and improve your deck. No, I just think I need to start with a good hand. Alright, now. Now you're just kind of messing with me. With this kind of hand. You're like, oh, didn't have enough skeletons? Have all of them. Alright, if you're gonna be like that. Skeleton army attack! So now I could, I could summon a revenant to take care of the bone hound. But I think I'll actually save it, because I need to take care of that sarcophagus. So I'll use the skeleton to block the banshee for now. Alright, so I'll summon a revenant there, he'll take care of the sarcophagus. And I'll summon a draugr, and he'll get... He'll get destroyed by the Bone Hound, but the Bone Hound will get destroyed by the Skeleton and get spawned after. No matter, death is never final. Rip Sarcophagus, death by Revenant. That won't be back in no time. Alright, I can't summon the Gravedigger because the Bone Hound will move to intercept it. So I'm going to have to do this. Ah, uh, let me inscribe this one. Rip Bonehound. Death by Skeleton. Live again! Alright, we'll summon the Skeleton, take care of that Banshee, and we'll have a gra Grave Digger for more bone. Rip Banshee, Death by Skeleton. Alright, I... Ooh, just what I need. But I don't have enough bone! I need to take care of that sarcophagus now before it becomes a threat. I'm sorry, Gravedigger, but I have to, otherwise I die. Oh wait, the bone house is going to kill me anyway. You may still try again, Challenger, but perhaps you should return with a stronger deck. I will be waiting. Well, how the heck am I supposed to get a stronger deck if I have no one else to challenge? Can I refight them? Oh, you solved the puzzle. You must be excited, but please do not bark. Do not beg or bite, it's time to rest. Uh. I guess I can go somewhere else? Yeah, I guess I'm not stuck there. I can always go up here. Ah. Uh. Um. No. No fish, no pass. 
Fair enough. What's in here? You pry the chest open and found a card pack inside. You received the beastly card pack. Field mice, mole man, bloodhound. The walkers. When the walkers die, four bones are awarded instead of one. But you cost four bone anyway. Buff conduit. Other creatures within a circuit completed by Buff Conduit gain one power. Hello. Dang damn it! That dang hound got herself lost again. You think you're getting past? Think again. Not till I get some proof my girl's alright. I'm sorry, Mr. Prospector. Hi! Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequ inadequacy. Behold me! I am Leshy, the scribe of beasts. We share a desire for you to challenge me. But first... I know what you're thinking. No, this is not my legendary camera. Not the one I use to create beast cards. This was a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beasts in these woods. My subordinates. The prospector, the angler, and the trapper. They each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they are all defeated. Okie dokie. Oh, hey, I can actually do one of the puzzles here. So let's see, we need to do five damage. All right, so you will fly over. That's two damage. You'll get blocked by the Mole Man. You will get blocked by the Mole Man, so regardless, you can't do anything. Uh, this? No. No. Uh... This is just one of those puzzles I have to brute force because I don't know how else to do it. Okay, that was no damage at all. That was three damage, which is getting closer. That's four damage. Will this do it? No. I'm not entirely sure how to do this. I'm so close. I don't know what else to do. No, that's less damage. I need more. Hey! The door cracked open. You found a pack inside. Hey, I got Mantis God. That's a good one. Uh, Elk, Bloodhound. Oh, I found another one. And I got another Mantis God. Uh, Field Mice, which is also a good one. Nothing really new. Hello? You wish a trade? You don't 
perchance have any pelts. No? That is disappointing. But I also accept foils. A squirrel ball? At the end of the owner's turn, squirrel ball will move in a direction and scribe the sigil and drop a squirrel in the old space. Okay, so you just summoned a bunch of stuff. And I need squirrel cards in order to do anything, so... Uh, is there anything else in here I can interact with? No, I guess not. Uh... So wait, where do I go? I can't challenge... No fish, no pass. So do I fight Leshy? Okay, return to me with my subordinates, or you can start with the Prospector. Uh, hey Prospector. Ye hard to hear and get me some proof she's alright. Maybe get her some food. Uh, come to think of it, my lesson that dang cabin. Oh, okay. Uh, where though? Oh? That's a safe, and I don't know the combination. Uh, I don't see any food. Wait, is the safe combination the same as last time? Because I don't remember what that was. <laughs> uh, um. Hey, Leshy, can I see your rule book? No. I cannot see the rule book. Uh. I guess I'll come back later and end the episode here. Uh, this has been Red Luster, signing out.